Hey guys, welcome back. Well, it's been a while since I did a rigging video, so that's what we're gonna do today. And we're gonna specifically look at how to rig an organic objects in Maya 2018. Okay, let's jump in, here we go. All right guys, well, we're in Maya 2018, as you can see, and I modeled a very simple bottle. Now, uh, we're gonna use this bottle as a prop for the tutorial that we're gonna do today, which is a rigging tutorial. And the reason for this tutorial is to show you that if you want to uh, animate anorganic objects in a cartoony style, let's say a wooden crate or a wall or a bottle or whatnot, then you can do that in multiple ways. Now, a lot of people use blend shapes or bend deformers. We are going to use a rig system, okay? So here we go. So we're gonna jump into uh, this shoe right here. I'm gonna go into my rigging menu and I'm gonna go into uh, skeleton and create joints. I'm going to turn on snapping right here. I'm going to snap on the bottom one, skip one, go up, skip one, go up, up and up and enter. There we are. Now, if I select one of these individual joints, I'll turn off snapping here. I can hit W and I can move that around or I can move this one around and so forth. All right, so that works. Now, next, I want my joint system inside my bottle. So I'm going to select them. I'm going to hold down X and boom. There you go. Let's check from the top. Yeah, we're good. Our rig is now inside our bottle. Uh, problem is though that our bottle is not responding yet, but we're not there yet. What we want is we want to um, create an uh, IK handle for our rig system. And you're probably going to say, well, what is that? IK stands for inverse kinematics and it will make it easier to select and move our joints. Okay. So we're gonna go into this view right here and I'll show you in a second what that will do for us. I'm gonna go into rigging, skeleton, uh, create IK handle. I'm gonna click on the bottom joint and I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna click on the top joint. And as I do that, the color changes to purple. I got this funky circle and white thing going on down here. And now I have an IK handle. So if I open up my attribute editor and I select it, I can move the rig system. It doesn't really do a lot yet. However, if we move it like this and we take one of the individual joints and move it back a little, suddenly your IK handle has a lot more control and you can do all sorts of funky stuff, okay? So hit Control Z to go back, make sure everything is still set correctly. So now it's time to uh, connect our bottle, right? So we have our IK handle. We are gonna shift select our entire joint system. We're gonna shift select the bottle as well. So we now have everything. And we're gonna go up to skin and bind skin. Now with that in place, if we now go in and grab one of these individual joints and slightly move it, you can see the bottle is responding, okay? And if we now take our IK handle, you can see that you can even completely crunch that up if you like, all right? So we're gonna hit Control Z to go back. Looks good. And now we're gonna make things a little bit easier. We're gonna simply add a control to our rig so we don't have to go in and click on those individual joints every time, all right? So we're gonna go to Create Nerves Primitives. We'll do a circle. We'll pull that circle up to the top. Hit R to scale it up a little bit. And then on my circle, I'm gonna to go to edit, delete by type history, and modify and freeze transformation. So we have a clean NURB circle, right? Now, I'm gonna go into my outliner. I'm gonna select the IK handle. I'm gonna shift select my circle, and I'm gonna hit P on my keyboard to parent that. So if I select my circle right now and hit W, you can see that I can now move. Cool. So what if I want to have controls for my individual joints as well? Well, you can do that if you want. I don't know if you would want to do that, but you can. And I'll just show you how to do one, okay? So you can uh, do that yourself. We're gonna to go to create, nerves primitives, circle once again, pull that up, hit R to scale that out, make it nice and big, jump into this view and get it basically to the height of one of your joints. Let's say right there. And we're gonna go in and we're gonna select the joint. We're gonna shift select the circle like this. And we're gonna P on our keyboard as before. So now if you select that circle, there you have it. Okay, 
Well, that's all there's to it, guys. So I suggest you play with this uh, to your heart's content, have fun with it, apply this method to all sorts of objects and uh, make it your own, all right? So if you enjoyed this video, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you don't wanna miss out on future videos, please subscribe, okay? That's it for today. See you guys next time, bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.